G'day guys, Peachy here from Drifter. Doing a bit of a walkthrough video today on this bus we've just recently fitted out. So yeah, we're doing more and more buses here at Drifter all the time. So um, yeah, lots of different buses out there. They've all got different features and ways you've got to work around them. Um, yeah, buses are a bit different to fitting out vans. Obviously like we specialize in fitting out vans, have done for many years. With a van, generally from the rear, you've got big barn doors or, or a tailgate door that opens. It gives you full access from the rear, which is really useful to have drawers and kitchens and things sliding out the back. With most buses, you don't have that. They're normally enclosed at the back. Um, sometimes they have side access, like this one here has got a big rear door at the back, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Um, but yeah, there's a very, it's very different fit out to fitting out your conventional kind of van. But you know, the good thing about what we do here at Drifter is everything's custom made to order. So yeah, we can basically work with whatever space and situation we have so so yeah this van um, this bus sorry yeah a bit of a project been here for a little while We've done a fair bit of work to it so when it came here it was completely empty the customer had, had taken all the seats out he's just kept one seat in the back for um, the kids so we'll have a look at that at the moment so he's got a couple of kids and then the rest of the space we basically decked out as as per what he um, required so when, when he came here, this customer, he had, he had a pretty good idea of how it was all going to operate. He'd done a lot of research on our website, checked out a lot of the videos and the different systems we do. And yeah, it was pretty pretty easy from the design point of view because he already understood our products. But yeah, we certainly tweaked a few things to maximize the space and things like that for him. So yeah, come up really nice. All right, so, so we'll start at the back here. So yeah, this bus has got the, the big, big access door here. Not all buses have this, but um, this is really handy. So opens right up. And then obviously um, you can see some of the units we've constructed here. So um, we'll see more when we go inside, but this here is gonna be a sleeping platform, like a double bed. There'll be a mattress on there. And then here we've just maximized the storage as best we can. So a, a series of drawers. Nice long, big drawers, okay? So all the drawers come with a divider. Um, you can get more dividers if you like, which basically just screw in position position where you need, and then you can screw them in. Um, or you don't have to use them if you want to. All right, and this is the lower drawer. So this is a really big drawer. So these drawers go from here all the way to the back. So really maximizing that space under the bed. So um, this is a little insert drawer, just a little tray. Sits in the top there, so that this, this can slide to the back or to the front. Um, just handy for small bits and pieces. And then you've got this big drawer here, which is for your bulkier items, okay? So, nice big drawers, work really well, all right? Okay, this little unit here is a slide-out kitchen. So, what we've done here is this kitchen slides out on the, the heavy-duty stainless steel runners, okay? So you can slide that kitchen out, easy to use, no lifting required. Um, yeah, so, you know, even, even the kids will be able to slide that in and out. But also, this, this kitchen here has got the ability to see it's sat in a tray, so this kitchen here has a full set of legs underneath. Okay, so you, you can you know, if you get your mate to help you, you can lift this off, set it up, and um, so you can set up it remotely from the back of the bus here. So if you've got like a central camp set up, if you're, if you're camping with friends, um, it's really good for that. Or if you just, um, yeah, you just want to set it up under the awning and so you can shut the door and things like that, it, it works really well. So yeah, this is uh, the, the most common style of kitchen we use. So all these kitchens, the whole fit out is all made from scratch. So every part of this fit out is made from um, raw materials, sheets of plywood. So everything's made to size. But this kitchen is what we call our DPO van style kitchen. Um, and the exact configuration of this does depend on how much space we have to work with. The height varies, the length varies all the time. Occasionally we'll adjust the width. Um, that's a bit more standard because it needs to fit the stove and things, but so yeah, but this is the general sort of layout here. So you've got a little fold-out bench, so that just gives like just a little extension workbench there. Under here, so obviously this is all like a laminated top. Under here is where the stove will go. So yeah, this and again this area here is built depending on what stove you have. So we've got some generic measurements that we work to a lot. But if you've got a certain stove, then we can fit pretty much any stove in there. A um, little bit of storage under here. Um, space here for the tub, Cla collapsible tub there that pops out. And, um, and then a little hand pump here too. So these options are uh, optional if you want to add them on. And then there's a couple of drawers. Okay, lots of storage. And then you've got um, a little cupboard on the end there as well. So there's a lot of space in the kitchen. You know, you can jam a lot of things in there, which is really cool. And um, 
Yeah, so these kitchens, this one's finished in what we call a clear lacquer, so you get to see the timber grain, which really nice. Um, we can do this in a black finish as well, so we stain the timber black and we put like brushed aluminium fronts on it, so some of the cabinets inside are like that actually, so we'll, we'll have a look at that sort of finish in a minute. All right, and then being on the runners, once you finish with it, slides in nice and easy like that. So, drifter's table here, so um, slide out table, so really handy little bench if you're just, um, you know, loading things in and out your drawers, you can use this as a little bench. Also comes out, sets up freestanding like that. So, okay, these legs are all fully adjustable, so you can set the table whatever height you like, okay? So that's all the way down, so that's like as low as the table goes, um, but it'll also set up at about, about 900 or 950 high as well. Fully adjustable legs right in between. Okay. slides away nice and neat so the good thing about having the table sliding like that is it's very very easy to get in and out when you need it which is really really handy okay so um we've also we'll have a look at the 12 volt system in a moment but on the roof which you can't see um there's two two solar panels two big solar panels there's a, um, a roof vent and at the back we've actually installed a um 240 volt air conditioner so this this bus when you're plugged into power we fully air conditioned inside which would be beautiful here we've also also um, wired up a external plug. So you know if you've got your, your kitchen set up here and you want to plug in a coffee machine or blender or any, any 240 accessories, then you can plug them in there. And then to plug into the power side, there's a, a, a corresponding plug on the other side of the vehicle. They're normally on the on the off side. So you, when you get to a power side, you can plug it in, hook up, and you've got full power. Or if you're out in the bush, then you've got your solar panels to keep you powered up. So works really well all right so yeah let's have a bit of a look inside here okay so yeah this customer's got a couple of teenagers i think so we've got a set of bunk beds here um all made to the size basically to suit the um the, the kids the people um the teenagers so they're pretty big and also to fit the space as well so yeah two bunks Storage below, so we've got these three drawers. So, good amount of storage in here. No on that. So that, that would be really ideal. Obviously, um, as I said before, mum and dad are gonna sleep here. And then this unit here is um, a bit of a custom unit, but there's a provision here. Um, this customer wanted to allow for possibly a third child in the future. So if they did have a, a small infant, then they could sleep them here up until they get to a certain size, of course. But um, you know, they probably just put like a bit of a, a bit of a cradle in there just to hold it, so nothing, no one rolls off. But um, yeah, so built built within this unit, we've got the fridge. So this is a bar fridge. So what's this one? This is the 85 litre Bushman. So the bush, the bar fridge is extremely popular at the moment. Any any bus fit outs or van fit outs or even a lot of four wheel drives, more and more people are moving towards a bar fridge just because of the convenience um, of everything being able to access easily. So it has a freezer compartment and, um, and then all the adjustable shelves and bits and pieces. So really good bar fridges. Just a little bit more storage here. Just, uh, just a series of drawers. And then obviously a bit of a laminated area here. Um, but yeah, one of the main object objectives here from the customer was he wanted to be able to sit inside and and um, and, and do some work. So basically, you can sit here. And then there's this workbench here, so he can sit here on his laptop doing work. Um, he's just got this little little area here, which is really cool. So this this bench pulls out. It's on the runners, so it's it's not a removable table. It's just a, a bench that's so fully self-supporting. Laminate the top, and um, yeah. Sitting here, aircon going, bit of music, it'd be um, brilliant, I reckon. So, okay, um, and just below, below here again, just a few more drawers. So, and these drawers goes back as far as they can to meet the drawers coming out the side. All right. So, yeah, basically, um, yeah, we, we've created access to all the space. So, we. We generally try and make as, build in as many drawers and easy access compartments as we can. 
you do get places, you know, in buses in particular because you don't have the easy rear access, um, you get areas like this where you simply can't put any drawers or anything. So what we've done is made up a bit of a lift off lid um, and there's just full access there, just a storage area around the wheel arch. Um, we've got a little bit of a fuse box here because we've got various power things around, around the place. Um, and then down here is where all the 12 volts is housed. So, so yeah, 12 volt work is what we specialize in here at Drifter. So in here, what we've got is, um, this is a 125 amp hour lithium battery and we've got provision for an additional battery, which, um, yeah, the customer didn't want to do just now, but he wanted to allow for it. So the space there for the battery, we've given him the lead. So if he gets another battery, he just plonks it in, connects the red to the red, the black to the black, and he's got double the power. So on the outside of the van, we've got the, um, the, the 240 volt inlet. So that comes into this double GPO. Um, the GPO has got a built-in RCD trip, so it's all fully safe. And then that powers the air conditioner. And um, also down here, we've got the Enerdrive 2600 watt inverter. So that's a big inverter. Um, the customer's looking at using a coffee machine and induction cooking. So he's got the big inverter in there and that will power through to um, the, the, the socket outside. And there's also another socket just here as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, what else we got in here? So yeah, we've got the, there's a DC to DC charger. Just swing around, Eddie. So yeah, we've got the DC to DC charger here. Um, just a set of fuses. This here is a, I think it's a 25 amp projector 240 charger. So when it's plugged into a powered site, Everything apart from the air conditioner runs off the batteries. So if you plug into a powered site, you can run everything, the, the, the big inverter with the, um, with the induction stove and everything, um, and it'll all stay fully charged all the time. When you're off grid, you can run everything apart from the air con. You can't run the air con when you're off grid because they just chew too much power. All right, so yeah, as you can see, there's a fair bit involved with what's going on here. We've got, um, yeah, there's a shunt, heaps of fuses, um, yeah, our old electrician here, Mick, big shout out to Mick, as well as all the boys. Um, yeah, he does a really beautiful job of all the 12 volt work. So on here, we just mounted this little easy access panel. So again, double GPO. This is a remote switch for the um, inverter. So if I press that and hold it, the inverter down below me switches on. Um, and then this is a battery monitor. So it tells you um, what percentage the battery's at and how much charge you've got coming in and out. And then this is a, just a remote display for the 240 volt AC charger um, so yeah that's the little 12 volt hub there yeah very nice very very nice 12 volt install yeah so that's really cool all right pop that back on so yeah double bed area here um, we've got a couple of overhead cupboards here so this one is an open face with a shelf um, no doors just open a little bit of a shelf area on the back here as well and on this side, similar sort of thing. We've got the open the shelf area on the back, and then we've got these two doors here, which open up just to give it a, you know, um, yeah, closed off look. So I think he just wanted to go for the difference, the two different finishes. Um, so these overhead units, they're all contoured into the shape. They're quite complicated to build, especially when you've got, you know, roof features and cables and things to work around. But yeah, they came up really nice. So it's a beautiful finished job. Um, and yeah, here's the Dometic aircon. So when the guys have been working here on this, because it's quite warm and muggy here at the moment, yeah, they've had the aircon running, the doors closed, so they've had a great time in here, which has been good. This here's the Max uh, roof vent. So, how does that work? Turn it on. So you just press the button, automatically lifts up. Um, and these fans either blow in or they suck out, and there's multiple speeds, and they come with a remote control. And when they open up, the, the, the Max Air fans we use, they've got like a shroud on them so that even if it's raining, you can have them open because the, the, the rain shroud stops the water from coming in. So yeah, these are a really popular feature. And yeah, you can see we've got these dimmable down lights in the roof as well. So just here is the controller. So that controls the light. So you can set the, the, the brightness how, however you like. You can set the mood, I suppose. Um, so yeah. Um, and this is our, our distribution panel, so pretty standard feature in um, our 12 volt install. So it's got a volt gauge on it, two SIG sockets and a USB. So um, yeah, pretty good. 
I think that's about it. <laughs> There's quite a bit to run through, but so all these units are finished in the um, carpeted finish. So we do have options. We, we can finish in the carpeted finish. So it's quite dark, but once you've got your mattress on here and your, and your things, um, it looks really nice. Like it finishes really well. The other option is we can finish things in the clear lacquered timber. So everything would have the timbery grain, um, which is again really popular, especially with the bigger fit outs like this. Um, yeah, we've got another bus um, over here. I think I think that bus um, is getting the clear lacquer. I'm not sure, but but yeah, you know, we've got lots of options with finishes. So, but yeah, you know, bear in mind once you've got your mattress and your cushions and all your, all your personal effects in here, it really changes the way it looks. You know, it looks it looks really nice and everything. So. So yeah, good job. Um, yeah, hats off to all the boys here at Drifter. You know, we've got an awesome team right through from the sales to the um, production crew to the fit out crew and the 12 volt guys, everyone involved here. You know, um, we couldn't do anything without our staff. So full credit to all our guys here on site at Drifter. And um, yeah, look forward to showing this to the customer in about 20 minutes when he turns up. <laughs> all right, if you have any questions at all, just email me, mark at drifter.com.au or you can give us a call or um, yeah, make an appointment and swing in here at Gloucester and, and meet up. All right, thanks guys.